we knew that the way we started in the league final that was never going to be good enough. We had to up a game. It took us a while to start today. But I think at the end of the game, when we had to dig deep, we did dig deep, and we got out with a victory. It's hard to say where the game was won and lost. Rahab players didn't perform as well as they should have on both sides, but yet there was some magnificent performance. Sean McMahon was absolutely outstanding as well as Philip Maher for Tipperary. So it's hard to say where it was won or lost. It's slowly pint in, so it's the small things that make a difference in the game. Yeah, save us the stars. I've been a goalie now for 11 years, my 11 championships, and um, I suppose over the last four or five years, I developed a business interest, which has come mainly due to the hurling, to be honest about it, and um, it's been very good to me. I have a pub here in the Scanner, Joe McHugh's, which is very well known, and we have a pub down between the Martin and Shannon and the Bedford Inn. So between the two of them, it's, it's tough going, to tell you the truth, and I suppose coming into matches, it's a tough place to be around because you're going to get a lot of talk about the game and personally myself, I'd like to stay away from that and just get my own thoughts on the game together. But being honest, I, I love the pub business and as you can see even back here today, it's, it's a lovely spot, you know. I play a lot of golf, like golf would be my second sport and I, I really enjoy it and I would play a lot in the Hinch Golf Club and probably the Mall and Castle are my two clubs that I would play a lot in. Uh, I'm playing off two tomorrow. And um, I have my good days and my bad days, and um, normally before the game, though, 10 days before it, I won't play any golf, which, which kills me, to tell you the truth, but it's just a sacrifice, I believe, that I, that I have to make, and, but come one day, I'll be out there, win, lose, or draw, and I'll be hitting away. The are a good team, there's no doubt in that, they're in the top two or three teams in the country, as I believe we are. Um, it's, it's going to be a savage, tough game. I don't believe there'll be much in it. You never know on a day what's going to be in it. But certainly I believe that we are good enough to win and that we can win. And if I didn't believe that, there's no point going out, as I'm sure the tip boys believe the same. But it has the makings of an unbeliever again. Got it. Um, I find it very hard to believe that we're out of the championship after that. That's personally myself. I didn't believe we deserved to lose today on that performance, you know, but that's the way it goes, I suppose, at Turlin. I probably wouldn't be too happy with Dickie Murphy today. You know? I, I'd say it straight out and I'd say to his face, I, I don't believe he had a good game. You know, if he stopped the talking and gone on with the referee and it's a bit more, probably be no harm, you know. Like, we are gone now for the year, and I see one or two of his easy fees to give in there. Should work for the same for both sides, you know. But the one thing is, we're down this year, but we will be back. We know today we're as good as any of them. We know it. We had the chance to say we missed them. But next year, we'll come back and we're far from gone. We are far from gone away. We're back, club championship next week. Get to look at the matches on the television and loads of golf. That's, that's the story. I don't want it that way. I'd rather be playing for the rest of the summer and I'm not. But Sir Fletcher the tips they won today and um, best of luck to them. Yeah, of course he'd want to be playing for the rest of the summer, but Sherlock Nan, he isn't. You said in our live match today, before the game, that this would be a defining game for Clare Hardy. Yeah, I did. I thought, I, I thought if Clare lost today, they'd, they'd be gone for a long, long time. Now, the way they play today, the intensity with which they played, the key must that they, they used in the game, and above all, the way the new young player, com the, the, the commentary player team play, like David Hoy, Jerry Quinn, Tony Camry, the way they play gives give, give huge hope for the, uh, for the future. And especially the older fellas, Low and Shawnee. Shawnee was actually yeah, out of this yeah, world. Yeah. Now, the big problem for Clare today were the forwards. Mm. You know, Clare had eight forwards that played all together today. Two of them scored. Neither of the midfielders scored. So you take your top ten, your ten forward players, only two out of those scored. And when, when, you, when, when you come up with statistics like that, you know that something was wrong. And you just cannot win. Even if they had won today, and they could have won, and probably should have won, uh, you wouldn't get much farther, farther with only two scoring forwards. But even in your day, Joe, when you were the manager there, they were not some of the greatest forwards in the team, but you still managed to get enough of the ball through them. Yeah, we got enough of the ball through, and we had a few fellas who were able to win possession. The problem today was the careful forward line didn't win any possession, didn't hold on to the ball. They needed somebody full forward, even if Conor Clancy was fit and playing today. Mm. Somebody who would catch the ball, hold it on, like Declan Ryan did for Tipperary, 
and either scored it himself or laid off to somebody else. That is the big fault, but it is the only fault. The commitment, the spirit, the drive, the tactics they used, everything for Clare was spot on. But they made a very good team today. They did. And the Tipperary defence was absolutely outstanding. And a lot of us have been critical of the Tipperary full back line before the game. Each one of them were, were really good, and the full back, Peter, uh, Philip Naha, was absolutely brilliant. So, two great defences. Uh, and I think, you know, blocking, uh, hooking, all of that is a huge skill in holding, and was demonstrated there today brilliantly by both defences. Nobody is taking away anything from Tip's performance today, which I thought was extremely good, but we must re respond to the reaction of a lot of people who have been ringing and emailed. Mm. They didn't like some of the refereeing decisions, a few critical ones that maybe cost Claire a point or two. Well, two in particular, I think. I've been speaking to a lot of players since the game, and two, uh, two incidents in particular have really angered the, play, the, the, the player supporters. Now, the first one was an incident with Ali Baker when he blocked the ball from Mark O'Leary. Here it is. Mark O'Leary gets the pass here. In comes Ali, splits the ball away. Now, if you tap a fellow from behind, uh, which put Holly on the body, it is a freeze. Now, Ali is right beside him. Hits, hits the ball, clears the ball. No body contact whatsoever. Yeah. Now, what can he done Holly here? It's inside Ali, uh, it's inside Colin Lynch's arm, and he taps Colin on the chest. It should have been a free interplay. Now we'll count the steps in a second when he has the ball. Uh, count the steps, one, two, three, and on the fourth step he bounced it on his holly. Now, with Tommy's uh, uh, holly inside Colin's arm, tapping him on the chest, it should have been a free sure. interplay. So yeah. they scored from the one the holly gave away. It was a score yeah. retreat, there's only a pint in it for the last yeah. minute. Dickie did not have his best day today. But as you say, it does not take away from Tipperary's victory. And in sport and in life, what goes around comes around. Yeah. There were days with Dickey against Tipperary when we got a few dodgy decisions with the win power way. Today they win Tipperary's way. And the best luck for them. I say that's what most fair people would, mm -hmm. would say. Pip never complained after the All Ireland 97. Remember this and Ryan, the question over a yeah. pint? Yeah. He dismissed it straight away. A question of a free into Tipperary in the end, they dismissed it straight away. So, that's the way Tip and Clare games go. You know, they always, they're always talking time, they're always controversies, but Clare were the authors of their own destruction today by two forwards out of eight scoring. That's the strategy that they're concentrating for next year, and they're not gone, as Richie said. They're there next year. They're, 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 the young players have come in play really, really well, and the great news for today is Clare have a future. The only thing is, Tip have a better future <laughs> this year. Well, they sure do. Now, to our man of the match selection from that second of our live games of the afternoon, the choice of the Sunday game panel was Philip Maher, Tipperary's full-back. The Tips defence gave nothing to the clear forwards this afternoon. The Boris Lee man marshalled that defence brilliantly. Philip Maher, my pleasure to award you the RT Man of the Match Award. It was a great game and you had a great game. Oh yes, it was a great game. Man. It came down to the wire near the end. I think it just showed to us and the rest of the country how good clear war. No point in it at the end and I'm no doubt to be back again next year. First of all, there's a monster final to come. Yeah, there's a monster final to come, and I, I think we look at look on this monster final as a big day now, coming again, and very soon we've gone up with the main who we're playing. I think we'll just give it our all. Congratulations to you. Thanks very much, sir. No, well, congratulations to Tipperary on their victory today as well. Our thanks to Joel Nan for joining us here on the programme tonight. Now, all right then, we've covered the game, we've covered the big draw. Still further business, however, on the Sunday. Westmead 212.